Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the final selection in our These Old Houses series, Psycho, from 1960, directed by Alfred Hitchcock, starring Anthony Perkins and Janet Leigh, just in time for Halloween. The screenplay was adopted by Joseph Stefano from Robert Bloch's 1957 novel, which was inspired by the real-life story of Ed Gain, an ordinary Wisconsin man who lived a double life as a psychotic murderer. Shortly after he published it, a call came from the MCA talent agency offering him $5,000 for the movie rights. He held out for and received 9500 bucks, never knowing that his buyer was Hitchcock. At filming time, Hitchcock was directing his famed TV series on the Universal Studios back lot. In an effort to save money, he decided to film Psycho there, using his existing TV crew, yielding a film with one of the most famous scenes in film history, the shower scene. Hitch filmed it in black and white because he thought it would be too gory in color, thereby enhancing the movie's aura of mystery and saving more money. The economy was very important because his budget was a paltry $857,000. So he hired Lee for only $25,000 and Perkins for only $40,000. When Psycho was released, it was considered controversial and received mixed reviews. A box office return of $50 million and intense audience interest prompted some critics to evaluate their initial judgments. Psycho was nominated for four Oscars, including Best Actress and Best Director. Hitchcock made $15 million on the movie, choosing to take 60% of the value of the negative instead of his usual $250,000 director's fee. Hitchcock's original intent was to film the shower scene without music, but Bernard Herrmann convinced him that he could up the suspense and horror with a score composed only of screaming violins. When Hitch heard the music, he knew immediately they had something special. Herman's strident, bone-chilling music catapulted the movie to instant fame, raising Hitchcock's popularity as a filmmaker to new heights. Hitch credited the power of this scene to Herman's amazing, screeching score and rewarded him by doubling his salary. When Perkins was asked many years later what he thought of the shower scene, he said that it was really very chaste because there was no violence in it. The violence was merely implied and the, eff the effect was achieved by a combination of good camera angles, clever music, artful intercutting, and 70 camera setups over seven days to produce a mere 45 seconds of footage. Janet Lee's body was never touched or shown. Instead, Hitch used an artist's model as a stand-in, and the audience sees only Lee's head, shoulders, and hands. Hitchcock made much of preserving the suspense of his movie. Advertising included warnings to the audience not to reveal the ending to anyone. Life-size posters of the director appeared in participating theaters, informing patrons that they would not be seated after the movie started. Paramount provided a recording which played in theater lobbies advising patrons on the remaining time until the next performance. Hitchcock even hired Pinkerton guards to enforce this policy. All the hype increased the buzz around the movie and drove up ticket sales. As word got out about the blockbuster, long lines formed at ticket windows as patrons waited to see each show. The New Brunswick, New Jersey drive-in reported that it had three-mile-long queues backed up on the nearby highway, waiting for access to its parking lot. Plot summary. Marion Crane, a trusted secretary in a real estate agency, is seeing a divorced California man. They are unable to marry due to a lack of funds. A client buys a piece of property for $40,000, and Marion is directed to deposit the cash in the company's bank account. She sees an opportunity to pump some money into her affair 
and takes off with the cash to join her boyfriend. She trades in her car at a used car lot, continues on her journey with her new wheels. Exhausted, she leaves the main highway, searching for a bed for the night, and stumbles on the Bates Motel, which appears deserted until the proprietor emerges from his imposing Victorian mansion where he lives with his mother, the Bates House, high on the hill above the cabins. Bates greets Marion warmly, settles her in one of his 12 available rooms, and even prepares their dinner. What happens next is part of film history. Fun facts about the film. Three different actors provide the voice of Mother Bates. Both Ed Gain and Norman Bates were solitary murderers in isolated situations, had deceased domineering mothers, sealed off rooms in their homes as paternal shrines, and dressed in drag. There are many references to birds in the film. Norman collects stuffed birds. He says that Marion eats like a bird. British slang for a cute young woman is a bird. Several of Norman's stuffed birds are linked to intelligence and wisdom, crows, owls, and hornpoles. Marion comes from Phoenix, and her surname is Crane. In the film, a psychiatrist explains Norman's mental pathology to Marion's sister because studio execs thought the less aware audience members needed more information about mental illness. This is the first time a Hollywood film depicts a toilet flushing on screen, let alone a toilet. The French film, Diabolique, from 1955, had a major influence on Psycho. It has a bathtub scene. For the shower scene, when the camera looks up into the shower head, Hitch had a six-inch shower head made to block the central water jets so that the camera lens would remain dry during filming. Hitchcock often plays on opposites. In the opening scene, Marion wears a white bra and looks angelic. After she steals the $40,000, she has a black bra because she's now done something wrong. Before she steals the money, she's got a white purse. After the theft, her purse is black. When Norman first realizes there has been a murder, he shouts, Mother, oh God, oh God, blood, blood. Hitchcock had the bass frequencies removed from the soundtrack for this speech to make Norman sound like a frightened teenager. Perkins and Lee were encouraged to improvise their roles, i.e., Norman has a habit of munching on Halloween candy corn. Bosco chocolate syrup was used for blood because it showed up better in black and white. Norman's line, a boy's best friend is his mother, became one of the most famous lines in movie history. Marion's clothes were bought off the rack in ordinary dress shops so the audience could see what a real secretary wore. The Bates Mansion was modeled after an Edward Hopper painting in the Museum of Modern Art in New York called House by a Railroad Track from 1925. It still stands in Haverstraw, New Jersey. The car dealership where Marion trades her car was actually Harry Maker's used car lot near the Universal Studios. Since Ford was a sponsor of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, his TV series, the crew removed all the used cars and replaced them with new Fords, Edsels, and Mercuries. Hitch's famous cameo occurs early in the film. He wears a cowboy hat outside her office. The map on the wall behind the psychiatrist as he talks with the police is a map of Shasta County, California. Hitchcock owned the painting in Norman's office, which covers the peephole. Susanna and the Elders, 1691, by Juan Van Mieris. Hitch's daughter, Patricia Hitchcock, played Marion's co-worker in the real estate office. Things to look for. The shower scene. References to birds. Hitchcock's cameo is a man with a cowboy hat outside Marion's office. Herman's amazing score with string instruments only. Marion's body double. 
the six hour shower, six inch shower head built to prevent cameras from getting wet. Marion's wardrobe. Contrasts such as those between black and white. Perkins improvising munching Halloween candy corn. The serial shots of Phoenix at the beginning of the film. The Bates Mansion based on an Edward Hopper painting. Hitchcock's personal painting hung over the peephole in Norman's office. Mirror and reflection shots. Patricia Hitchcock's appearance as Marion's friend and co-worker. The blatant use of Ford automobiles. The map of Shasta County. Now it's time to view Psycho. Sit back, nibble on some candy corn and a sip a little cider. Please remember that it may take a few minutes for the film to roll. Happy Halloween. Enjoy.